I am installing the Hunter 27182, currently there is one switch that turns on the lights and I have to use a pull chain to turn the fan off slash on, seems hot all the time regardless of the switch position. I'll do all I can to help. How long have you been dealing with this? 10 years, just bought the Hunter 27182 and want to install it, not sure which wire goes to what. The switch has a red, black and ground, this is the switch I will be replacing, there are whites tied off and blacks tied off in the wall. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? Yeah. Anything else we should know to help you best? Nope, just want the fan light control to work with the at the wall and not using any chains. Hi, I'm Mike G and I'll be assisting you. From your description of the wire connection at the switch, I suggest installing a fan speed slash light dimmer device. The modification to the connections are as follows. Connect the line to the device along with the black and red as indicated on the control. This will give you IU independent control of the fixture functions. The pull chain will need to be set at their maximum. Okay, just for clarification, set the fan to its highest speed, attach the red wire of box to the red of control, black wire of box to black of control. Then what about the blue wire and the green slash yellow wire of the control? The black wire on the old switch is the power. The red wire is for the light. The cable leaving the box with the red wire has another black which is connected to other blacks. Disconnect it and attach it to the new controller it will already be connected correctly at the fan. The green wire connected to the grounds in the box. Okay, take the black wire, from the cable with the red, and attach that black to the black of the controller. Check. Tie the green slash yellow controller wire off to the ground, bare wire, check, the red ties to the red of the controller, check, the blue wire of the controller connects to what? Give me the make and model number of the dimmer slash fan speed device. I need to check on the blue wire. 27182 ceiling fan and light control, hunter, wiring diagram attached. Remove the black wire from its connection to other blacks and connect it to the blue. Okay, take the black wire, from the cable with the red, and attach that black to the blue of the controller. Check. Tie the green slash yellow controller wire off to the ground, bare wire, check, the red ties to the red of the controller, check, the black wire of the controller connects to what? Also, number 6 in the directions indicate, if a ground wire is provided in your electrical box, attach it to the ground screw near the bottom of the mounting plate. Are they saying to attach the ground, bare wire, to the green slash yellow wire of the controller and tie it off to the bottom screw of the switch where it screws into the plastic blue box? Doesn't sound right. The black is the power and connects to the black wire that was on the old switch. Okay, number 1 take the black wire, from the cable with the red which is tied into a bundle of black wires, and attach that black to the black of the controller, just these two nutted together. Check. Number 2 tie the green slash yellow controller wire off to the ground, bare wire, check, is my 819 AM post correct for grounding this. Number 3 the red wire nuts to the red of the controller, check. Number 4 the blue wire of the controller nutted to black wire of the current switch, which is connected to the bundle of black wires tied off from step number 1. Look at the diagram you sent me. The red and blue wires connect to the cable having the red, black and white. The black wire from the control connects to the other black in the box. The green connects to the bare copper wires. Okay, 
Makes sense, just to clarify, the ground is just wire nutted to the green slash yellow if so, also, number 6 and the directions indicate, if a ground wire is provided in your electrical box, attach it to the ground screw near the bottom of the mounting plate. Are they saying to attach the ground, bare wire, to the green slash yellow wire of the controller and tie it off to the bottom screw of the switch where it screws into the plastic blue box? Doesn't sound right. Do you have bare copper wires in the box? If so, connect the green to them. Okay, Mike, that worked great. Thank you for your patience and attention to detail. Have a great day, love this page. Excellent, you're welcome. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.